Hey, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all glory, praise, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Devil honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and much love, honors and blessings, salutations to the elect, which hold their kind of composure and integrity. While we transition out of this wicked kingdom, uh, Babylon, aka America, to the restoration and the establishment of uh, Yasha Allah, which is your so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, but, uh, uh, but a city and a land that will be ba built and based off of righteousness for eternity. Uh, this is Yakawa. Want to get into a really quick topic, not too many scriptures. Just wanted to go uh, into a little. Uh, decree basically that was made because that's what it, that's what it's going to be at the end of the days all right everything that is happening in the world is going to ultimately lead, uh lead up to the world's submission to yahweh shmi uh with the elder ariala said and then yashawamba added elder ariala had uh basically quoted philippians uh what is it the second chapter i think i have it right here yeah the second chapter where he's uh, made the statement that at the end of the day, you will bow. At the end of the day, every living creature and being, mainly you people, all right, are going to bow. You're going to bow back down to Yahweh Shai because it's all about Yahweh Shai. They were getting into that topic in uh, 2 Corinthians or Salakia. Uh, what was that? Uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 2. Is that even right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what is it, like 2 and 19? Or 2, no, Salakia, Salakia. Um, damn, I don't even want to get it messed up already. Right here, oh yeah, yeah, Salakia. First uh, Corinthians 2 and 1 says, And I, brethren, when I came to you, came not with excellency of speech or of wisdom, declaring unto you the testimony of the Most High, it says, For I determined not to know anything among you except Yahweh Mashiach and him crucified. And then, you know, the, 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 the notion, the statement that was made was that this is what it's all about. It's all about Yahweh Shai, man. Yahweh Wah Yahweh Shai. And to know them, to know what they did, to know what they're going to do. All right. And the whole world is ignorant to this matter because. I mean, you got all this confusion, all this gray that's been pushed into the world and, you know, the system that Esau created. And then ultimately what you people helped basically push the influence of with your wicked uh, deeds and works. But the whole world is ignorant to the knowledge of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay. Ultimately, the whole world is ignorant to what Yahweh Shai did. I mean, it really only pertains to you Israelites, but the rest of the world, too, will also remember who Yahweh and Yahweh Shai are, man. At one point in time. They called him Malashadia, which was basically an, a demon power because they, the Lord was cruel to the other nations. But I mean, you you understand why you you you, you read and you uh, you study to figure out why that was. You understand that the Lord has a peculiar people that he chose for himself that he cares about. And if you touch them man, he he gets mad. <laughs> you know, uh, the scriptures talk about it, how us Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians, man, we're the apple of the Lord's eye, all right? We're a special people, a treasure. And, you know, really uh, a husband and a wife situation, we're the Lord's wife, all right? So you're touching, you know, the world is touching this man's wife. You know, this man has a power to get mad and, you know, uh, vigilantly execute judgment. But all this knowledge has been forgotten how the Lord was to the nations, how the Lord was to his people. But pertaining to you Israelites, all right, you know, and uh, you are the camps teaching, um, you know, madness and lies and perverse perversion of the, of the, of the word, you're going to eventually bow again anyways, whether you try to disrupt the, uh, what the sayings are, the understanding of the scriptures, whether you try to lie about it, whether you try to, uh, you know, say that Yahweh Shah was a sinner. At the end of the day, man, you're going to still bow to him. So I want to get this scripture in um, Proverbs chapter 30, verse 4. And it says, Who hath ascended up into heaven or descended? Who hath gathered the wind in his fists? 
who hath bound the waters in a garment, who hath established all the ends of the earth. What is his name and what is his son's name, if thou canst tell? And so that's why I mentioned earlier everything that used to be a, used to be done in the old world in the ancient times leading up to now and to the future all these things are culminating to basically bring back the remembrance of who Yahweh Bashem Yasha is all right that's why you you read in certain scriptures in certain accounts uh let me get one in particular um Jeremiah uh what is that 28 and uh 9 Um, let me see. Well, yeah, I, you know what? I'll start at verse eight, Jeremiah 28 and eight, because this is, again, everything that's happening, everything that's going on in the world. People are like, well, why is it happening this? Why is it that? What What's causing it? You know, eventually it's all, all roads lead back to the acknowledgement of a higher power. Okay. So Jeremiah 28 and eight says the prophets that have been before me and before thee of old, prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. All these matters that, uh, that are occurring on the earth, man, whether it be a, a natural disaster, whether it be deceivers, whether it be the increase of evil, you know, whatever, ha you know, what have you, man, it all leads up to in the end that a higher power was causing this. You know, you go into Joel, all right? where it talks about the evil or the trumpet being blown in the city and evil being done, has it not been done by the Lord? Hey, the Lord created good and evil, man. All things are his and all things lead back to him. All right. And so uh, you continue on. It says the prophet which prophesied of peace when the word of the prophet shall come to pass, then shall the prophet be known that the Lord had truly sent them because of what we're speaking. You know, you people are, you know, gain saying right now, you know, you're, you know, trying to deny it or, you know, this and that. But at the end of the day, man, the words that we speak are going to be performed and be known to be true. All right. Uh, let me see. But there's another scripture I want to get as well, man. Um, I mean, look at that. I mean, <laughs> and they shall know that I am the Lord. Hey, look at this. When I shall have executed judgments. And that's how the Lord is going to do all this, man. That's how he's going to bring your memory back. Whatever may happen to you, man, whatever may be going on, on the earth, eventually you're going to acknowledge you have Bashmi Shai being responsible for it. <laughs> that's the whole reason why he's doing everything, man, because the name of the Lord has been desecrated, man, you know, spit on for generations, thousands of years by all inhabitants, even our own and most of our own people, you know? And, hey, man, the Lord is fixing to basically stand up one more time so his name can be recovered. And so you know who rules. Hey, does not the Lord say that this is his world? All right. This this might be one. Uh, uh, Ezekiel 39 and 7 says, So will I make my holy name known in the midst of my people Israel. And I will not let them pollute my holy name anymore. And the heathen shall know that I am the Lord, the Holy One in Israel. So there you go. All, all nations are going to eventually know the know Yahweh Bashim Yashai again. Okay? So uh, going to the scripture that the elder quoted. Philippians chapter 2. I'm going to just start at verse 9. It says, Wherefore, Yahweh also hath highly exalted him who is at him, Yahweh Shai, and given him a name which is above every name. You don't know anybody else in the world named Yahweh Shai. I mean, you got Joshua, which is the English form, but ain't nobody in the world today called Yahweh Shai. It says again, and had given him a name which is above every name. You know, and we're and we're actually giving the tidings of that of that name. Hey, like we're being a bunch of heralds. Like John the Baptist was, okay, which he was also Elijah, okay. But we're heralding in the name of the Lord, the the, the power and the in the uh, the existence of them, of him and his father. That's what it's all about. It says that at the name of Yahweh Shai, every knee should bow, 
of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth. So it's about bowing to our powers, man. Understanding that they are the rulers, the supreme leaders. I know there's one other one, man, where it said potent, uh, potent, I believe that's how you spell it. Yeah, Titus 6 and uh, first, it's like it's like I'm slow down. First Timothy 6 and 15, which in his times he shall shew. Let me see if there's another verse above it. Um, first Timothy 6 and 14, that thou keep this commandment without spot, unrebukable, unto the appearing of our Lord, unto the appearing of our Lord, Yahweh Shammashiach which in his times he shall shew who is the blessed and only potentate, the King of kings and Lord of lords. See, it's, a, it's, it's we're heralding in that great, miraculous, majestic majesty, you know. <laughs> this is what it's all about, man. The Lord, the, what just happened? We got to understand, man, that this is the power that created everything. All right. He created everything and nobody's giving him credit. And nobody's giving him his due worship. So he's coming back to make that known. Uh, the word potentate means a prince, a courtier, high officer, hey, a prince. Uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 2 called him the prince of glory or the Lord of glory. All right. But the world was ignorant to that. That's why they put him to death. All right. Does it not say that? Uh how does it go? First Corinth to Salakia. First Corinthians 2 and 8, which none of the princes of this world knew, for had they known it, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. And had you known this, you wouldn't have put Yahweh to death. Okay? But seeing you've done this, that's because you're ignorant. You don't know. You can't go back to Proverbs chapter 34 or 30 and 4 and answer that question. What is his name and what is his son's name? If thou canst tell. Okay. So uh, going back uh, to the word potentate, a courtier, a courtier, high officer, royal minister of great authority. And a, a great authority, right? Well, if you have a great authority, don't you have people that are under you? Uh, I, actually, that's funny because I was watching the movie earlier. I was just rewatching some scenes with uh, Ben Affleck. Can't remember what it was, but he was basically in the in the, uh, he was basically a gangster, and he goes into this one man's. It, it was part of the whole Ku Klux Klan and everything, and he goes to one of these uh, uh, officials at his job, and he's like, "I would just appreciate if you stop doing what you're doing." And the and the Edomite was basically like, "Man, you can't stop us. We're we're lawyers. We're we're clerks." cashiers, this and that, you know, police officers. And he's like, if you try to come to war with us, we're going to rain down hellfire on your whole life. So Ben Affleck basically goes, so wait a minute. You're basically threatening me with people more powerful than you. And then he ended up shooting them heads. Like, what am I doing talking to you? This is basically Yahweh Shai, man. Yahweh Shai is that one over everything. All right? Yahweh Shai has authority. All right? In fact... I don't want to get too far off topic, man. But, um, well, actually, when you look into the, uh, the the Latin form of the word preacher, it goes into the Latin word predictorium. And uh, it the word right there will say to speak on another man's authority. And did not Yahweh Shai give, the, give his apostles and disciples and the men of the Lord the authority to preach his gospel for him on his behalf? Did he not? So, hey, man. Uh, this is, I'm looking for 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 8. It says, For though I should boast somewhat more of our authority, which the Lord had given us for edification. And that's what this is about. Again, correcting you people to let you know that, hey, submit and worship Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Is that not the whole purpose of, of, of mankind? To uh, 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 fear Yahweh Bashem Yahweh and obey His commandments. Ultimately, that's worshiping them. All right. So again, it says, "For though I should boast somewhat more of our authority, which the Lord had given us for edification, 
and not for your destruc destruction, I should not be ashamed. That's beautiful, man. That's beautiful. And Yahweh Shai is at the top of that. He's ahead of all things. Okay? So, uh, again, going back to Philippians, the second chapter, uh, Philippians 2 and 9, it says, Wherefore the Most High Yahweh also hath highly exalted him, which is Yahweh Shai, and given him a name which is above every name, that at the name of Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, every knee should bow. So at the end of the day, you're going to bow to these names. Whether you dislike it right now, whether you teach against it, whether you try to tarnish the image of our, of our Lord, you're going to bow to him. And you're going to have to pay for those words, man. You're going to be recompensed and judged according to what you've said and what you've taught. And if you teach a lie, man, the Lord's going to destroy you for it, man. It says that at the name of Yahweh Shai, every knee should bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth. And that every tongue, <laughs> you're going to have to openly say it, man, and that every tongue should confess that Yahweh Shai Mashiach is Lord to the glory of Yahweh the Father. Beautiful beautiful man at the end of the day you're going to bow and then there was another scripture that uh the elder yeshua brought out which was even more beautiful this is revelations 5 and 11 and i beheld and i heard the voice of many angels round about the throne and the beasts and the elders and the number of them was ten thousand times times ten thousand and thousands of thousands saying with a loud voice worthy is the lamb that was slain to receive power in riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing in every creature which is which is in heaven and on the earth and under the earth and such as are in the sea and all that are in them heard i saying blessing and honor and glory and power be unto him that sitteth upon the throne and unto the lamb forever and ever so the point is right here you got a million angels right now in the heavens worshiping and bowing to the, to, to the to the to him Yahweh Shai that lamb is Yahweh Shai so you you mean to tell me that you know these angels which are far more powerful than you that are far more that have all knowledge you you tell me they're doing it wrong you know <laughs> they're up there right now and they do this 24/7 worshiping Yahweh Shai bowing down so you're next at the end of the day hey and the four beasts said, Amun, and the four and twenty elders fell down and worshipped him that lived forever and ever. Now, one more real quick. You know, because there was a good worship to him. There was an account at, when Yahweh Shai went on the, uh, on the ass, on the donkey, basically. Um, uh, it, it said that the people shortly right after uh worshiped him let's see if this is it no there's ah, lord well, i can find it real quick maybe this is it yep yeah, this is yep yeah, wait uh I mean, it, I mean, it still says the same thing, but it says uh, Matthew 28 and 16 says that the 11 disciples went away into Galilee into a mountain where Yahweh Shai had appointed them. And when they saw him, they worshiped him, but some doubted. And Yahweh Shai came and spake unto them, saying, all power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. So, again, that all this stuff is basically just saying you got to worship him man. you got to submit. You're going to have to bow down. And it says, Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all, the, all things whatsoever I have commanded you. All right? And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Amen. So Yahweh Shai, man, at the end of the day, is going to be worshipped. He's going to be, you're going to submit and bow down to him. All right? You're going to be under his authority. Okay? Uh, Wisdom of Solomon 13 and 1 says, Surely vain are all men by nature who are ignorant of the Most High. 
But all of this is going to be brought back through whatever occurrences or scenarios or situations you're brought upon with or afflictions or trials or or uh, rebukes or a recompense or of an, of an indignation, whatever it may be, man, eventually you're going to, you're going to, you're going to acknowledge the maker. Okay. You're going to acknowledge him. Every knee shall bow. Every man, woman, and child is going to acknowledge you. How about Shemiah Shai, man? And when you come back into the kingdom, you're going to worship him. All right. This is uh Psalms. 90. Five and six. It says, uh, Oh, come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord, Yahweh, our maker. <laughs> For he is our power, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Today, if you will hear his voice. All right. So again, come, let us worship and bow down. You're going to bow down. All right. Uh, there's one more I want to get. Uh, huh. Oh, you know what? It might be in somewhere right here. I mean, this is a good one right here, but there's there's one in particular I want to get where it says to prepare to meet thy maker, basically. Let me see if I can find it. Ah, I mean, I can't find it, but hey, man, that's what's coming. OK. All right. Hey, Isaiah 54, and I'm, as I'm reading, as I'm you know talking to y'all, Isaiah 54 and 5 says, For thy maker is thine husband. The Lord of hosts is his name and thy redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, the power of the whole earth shall he be called. See, so the whole world's going to acknowledge and bow down. At the end of the day, man, don't matter what you do in your life right now, man, if you're trying to run away from this or not, trying to just be a, a nigga in life, man, because that's what you're being. If you're teaching contrary or doing contrary to this, to the to the word, you're going to eventually bow down. All right. When the Lord comes and brings in judgment. All right. In fact, you know what? You know what? Hold on. Before I end this. Acts chapter 17 and 29 says, For as much then as we are of the offspring of the Most High, we ought not to think that the God has, is like unto gold or silver or stone, bearing by art and man's device. So it's not objects or material things, man. All right. It says, In the times of this ignorance, the Most High winked at. Right now the Lord's winking, man, but he's storing that judgment up. All right. Because eventually, I keep, I keep reiterating, man, judgment's going to be placed on the earth. In whatever form or scenario it's going to play out, however your life is dealt with at that time, the Lord's going to make it to where at that end, before your last breath, or if if it comes to your repentance, you're going to bow down. You're going to give it up to those names. It says, at the time of this ignorance, the Most High winked at, but now commanded all men everywhere to repent, because he had appointed a day in the which he would judge the world in righteousness by that man whom he hath ordained. And so if you're wondering like, well, who's this man? It'll actually still tell you who that man is, what it's talking about. Whereof he had given assurance unto all men. And the word assurance means a most certain confidence. It's going to be undeniable who Yahweh Shah Hamashiach is and who Yahweh is, man. So like a Yahweh. I don't know why it sounds like that. Where, whereof he had given assurance unto all men and that he had raised him from the dead. Who is the only man to ever, ever come back from the dead? Yeah, I was shy. All right. So there you go, man. Just a little lesson, man. Just to tell you, man, like you're going to bow. So Lord will, this lesson was edifying. I um, want to give all glory, praise, and honor to Yahweh by Hashem. Yahweh Shai by Hashem. Rakakwadash Barakatam. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Peace and much love, honors, and blessings to the elect. All right. Yahweh by Hashem. Yahweh Shai Barakatam. Kwa Mishaala Shalawam.